Hey guys, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and in this video, we are going to continue the Oracle database architecture part. How Oracle SQL select statement is flowing in the memory architecture. Without wasting our time, let's move on the computer screen. But before starting my tutorial, as usual, I request to all of you, if you are new on my channel, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will get my all the notifications. Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how our Oracle SQL select statement is flowing in this entire Oracle database architecture. So step by step we are going to learn these things. So first of all, suppose a user process a fire a simple query which is the select star from Scott AMP. There's a table of Scott user and uh, the user fire the same query okay once the user process fire a query the query goes on to the server process and server process will handling this query and generating a hash value what is hash value hash value is nothing this is the hexadecimal value which is the re referenced by the each and every query the server process is checking the if sql area area is available for the same query then it will work on that otherwise if the sql area is not available then the SQL statement is flowing in these three steps. One is a parsing and second is a execution and third is the fetching. The parsing is has three points first point is that syntax check where the statement syntax will check next point is semantic check third point is privileges check okay what is syntax check the that is that the select is the perfectly the query is written the perfectly okay that means the syntax check if syntax check is verified then it will go on to the next process which is the semantic check what is semantic check these all three process is happening in the straight pool and as i already discussed about the shared pool the shared pool has a two units which is the library cache and data dictionary cache in library cache contains statement text parse code and execution plan and in the data dictionary cache contain definition of table column and privileges in the semantics check it will be verifying the object and its column is available or not in the table okay suppose inside the scott user the table emp is not available then what happening you will get the error from here okay if everything is passed then it will be going to the next process which is the privileges okay what is the privileges like uh, the user who is firing suppose this user is a normal user which is suppose kind of oh, this is the harry user harry is a fire the query and harry do not have the permission to access the scott user emp table then what happening the user process will return an error which is the the user has the privileges issue then if the user has the permissions then it will be checked and it, it will be verified by the privileges check section if everything is fine it will be going to the next process which is the execution plan in the execution plan the query will execute see the query execution plan will execute it then the next process is the fetching what is the fetching when the execution plan is executed then the fetching process will start and the server process will take that block from data files to database buffer cache and the server process will return that result to user process the server process will take that particular block from the data files into the database buffer cache and from the data buffer cache it will be returned to the user process i think now clear so this is entire process which is running in the back end in my next video i will show you how update statement is flowing in this architecture hey guys i hope you really learned something from this video if yes please press the like button and write your feeling in the comment box Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.